I know it's been a while, so let me catch you up. Rashid and I got pregnant. I've never seen the man happier. He is so set on having a boy, he already gave it a name. Zalmia. He said, if it's a girl, and it isn't. But if it's a girl, then you can choose whatever name you want. I personally don't care as long as it's healthy. Rashid is already making the baby a crib and bought a suede winter coat for a boy. The next day, Rashid wanted to take me to a bathhouse for the first time. I remember like it was yesterday. I looked down at my feet and all I saw was a pool of blood. The only thing I was able to do was scream and cry while all the women ran towards me to see what was going on. It doesn't make sense how one day we could be on top of the world and the next day we lose the one thing that meant the most to us, our unborn baby. Ever since the miscarriage, Rashid barely talks to me. He just smokes cigarettes in his room and he just talks to me to yell and complain about my cooking and cleaning. Nothing was good enough for him anymore. I disappointed him for losing his baby and now he's always going to hate me for not being able to give him a child. I was not able to pick my husband, but knowing I was able to have this child, knowing that someone would unconditionally love me, made my days a little easier. It's very hard being a woman in Afghan. We can't pick our husbands, we have to be escorted by a man, and we have to wait on our husband's hand and foot while they can do as they please. My mother was right when she told me, once I lose her, no one will be there for me.